All right, what's up, man? What a freaking SmackDown show tonight, man. This was this was a really great show. Now, it's, it's crazy because going from Raw, that rushed behind show, and you come to SmackDown tonight, and, like, so much stuff was happening, but it was all, like, organized. You know what I'm saying? You had the KO. KO crashed out multiple times tonight, freaking out on Cody and beat up Brandy before the night was over. And then you had the whole... Um, the, the the Nia Jax situation when Nia Jax lost, I thought the match was for the championship. So when Naomi pinned Nia, I jumped out of my chair. I thought Naomi just won the championship, and because the crowd popped and Michael Cole popped, so I thought she just won the belt, but she didn't. But I'm happy Naomi got a win with the help of Liv Morgan. Um, I really, I right, let, let me let me talk about that first because that was that got my like my biggest reaction the most out of the night. Of course, we saw Jimmy Uso return. We're gonna talk about that last, but. Um, they're still trying to figure out what's going on. I feel like the Liv and Nia match isn't as official as it looks. Um, I was I was I was live streaming, and one of my one of my viewers in the chat explained that they very well could have Tiffany just cash in before Crown Jewel. Now I'm like, I don't think they would do a Crown Jewel. I mean, a, a SmackDown cash in for Tiffany Stratton. Would I be opposed to it? Absolutely not. You know, I, I really don't want Nia and Liv to have the match because I know how it's going to end, but I'm much more open to having Tiffany and Liv. So if it comes down to it, we can definitely go just have, have like a Tiffany and Liv match if, you know, and then Tiffany can win. Tiffany beating Liv, I'm cool with that. Nia beating Liv, that's what I don't like. So, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. You know, and then Tiffany can be the person who is like the first crown jewel champion and she'll defend it every year. That's great. You know what I'm saying? That guarantees Tiffany Stratton a position. You feel me? But it's like, um, that whole thing is like very weird too. Cause like, is someone going to beat Nia before crown jewel? You know, and this year, this impromptu ass match, Naomi pinned her, you know? So I mean, I hate when champions get pinned and continue to be champion, but if we're doing this the way this company wants to do it, I guess that means Naomi gets a title shot now. I don't. I don't know. And we, I assume Naomi's going to lose that title shot match, but then that's when Tiffany cashes in. I, I don't know. You know, D still got Bailey in the cut. You feel me? So it's a lot. It's a lot going on. Um, and then Rhea was out. Rhea came out there to attack Liv. That was cool. It was. It was a lot. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like how the women's tag match got like three, four minutes. They let Jakara and Lash get their moves in, and then the match was just pretty much over at that point. Um, but yeah, the the women's the women's stuff was would, would beyond the tag match. The tag match could have been better, but surrounding around Nia Jax in the championship went very well tonight. A lot of stuff went on, you know, a lot of stuff was happening, but it it didn't feel rushed. Um, I do feel like the walls are closing in on Nia Jax as champion. Hopefully, please, I hate her as champion. Please get that belt off of her. I'm sorry, I, I can't deal with it. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens with that. Um, you had LA Knight and Carmelo Hayes. Excellent as always. Andrade making sure that Carmelo was distracted enough for LA Knight to win. We're getting game seven for Melo and Andrade, and that is going to be peak wrestling. I hope it's next week, man. I really do. Um, and then whoever wins that, LA Knight. Gets another get, get a match. At I do think they may do a triple threat at Crown Jewel. Possibly, maybe they may do a, a triple threat at Crown Jewel. Knight, Melo, and Andrade. I would love that. I think that's great. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care who wins that man. I think that would be awesome. Um, and then Santos Escobar, see, my man came out with with Legado Electra, her being beautiful, and I guess the new. I guess they're not like Humberto in in guards anymore, or. Lost man, I, I don't know. I guess they're Lost Garza now. I guess that's their name. They keep changing their tag team name. I guess they are Los Garza, and they're gonna face a tag team of Nick Aldis's choice. And I thought it was gonna be AOP. I thought they're gonna just bring AOP over. Apparently, it's gonna be the Motor City Machine Guns. Now, listen, that's some real TNA stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know about the Motor City Machine Guns, go on the YouTube's, go on your Google's, and type in Motor City Machine Guns. You know what I'm saying? It just, and then just. I know TNA probably dropped the best of compilation of their match. Just, that's one of the greatest tag teams of all time. You know what I'm saying? That's that's TNA. You don't know about the TNA? You better get, you better, you know what I'm saying? You better, you better get educated, educated. You know what I'm saying? You better get educated. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, Motor City Machine Guns might show up, and that is going to be an excellent match. Chris Saban and Alex Shelley being on WWE television is just going to be a surreal thing, you know. Um, 
But yeah, you know, you got that going on. What else happened? You know, I, I talked about KL crashing out. He, that's him. When Randy elbowed, when he elbowed Randy and Randy clocked them, I didn't know that was going to happen. And, you know, and like I was talking before that happened. I didn't I don't know how they will get to a triple threat for the championship because Randy didn't really turn on Cody yet. But the door is open to I, I, I'm not really excited to see another KO and Cody match. If I'm being honest with you, I just want a KO to turn heel. You feel me? I, KO being a heel is the best for business to me. You feel me? Um, and then, of course, you had Jimmy Uso returning. He was in the main event against Solo Sokoa. And we need someone needs to find out how many main events has Solo Sokoa had. Because he's like Roman with uh, WrestleMania main events. Because that man gets a main event every every week. Solo Sokoa main event. And this time he won. Surprisingly, I he actually won a match. I was like, My, thanks. That's Finally, you know, I, I was hoping that Jimmy didn't lose his first match back. Um, but he did. But the promo in the beginning between Roman and Jimmy, Jimmy just saying, we need help. And then the crowd starts saying yeet, you know, and then Roman said no yeet, which is always hilarious. And then we get to the end of the night, you know, Solo wins, Bloodline attacks Jimmy, Roman comes out. The Bloodline takes over and beats up Roman and Jimmy. Big spike to Roman. And Jimmy saying before they cut the, cut the show off, we need help. So uh, sooner or later, they're going to have to call Mr. Yeet himself. They're going to have to call Jay at some point. But th- I think the reason why I'm so happy about that is because I don't think Jay is going to be able to help them with the IC championship. I feel like he's going to have to pick one. He can't defend the belt on Raw and then help his family on SmackDown. Something's going to have to give. And I think the IC championship is what's going to give, you know, which means the belt's going back on Brian Breaker at some point. In the future, you know, I don't know how long they're gonna take. I don't know how long it's gonna, you know, but I'm just excited. I'm excited to see how that goes. I want the belt off of Jay because I just, I feel like they hot shot it on. We, we talked about that. I feel like they hot shot it on him just because the crowd and because of Twitter, you know. But I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited, and I want to see what this team does. Um, this creative team does with the bloodline you know because this the the whole solo and the tribal chief thing i haven't really felt it because like he doesn't feel like a tribal chief you know what i'm saying he loses everything so why should i acknowledge him per se you feel me but if they're trying to flip this you know and if we're going to get to november and do a, a bloodline versus bloodline 2.0 match this is the perfect time to start planting the seeds for that you know what i'm saying um See if they bring Zilla Fatu or another Fatu in there, someone else from Anawaii family, or if they bring Sammy in. You know, where's Paul Heyman? You know what I'm saying? There's, there's still a lot of unknowns. Where's Rock? You know, Rock said he's not going to WrestleMania now. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, you know? Someone told me that Rock was going to be in the War Games match. I was like, Rock, there's no way in the world Rock going to get in them double cages. No way possible. I, I eat my hat before I see something like that. But, um... Yeah, man, I'm just really, really excited. This SmackDown show, it was two hours, but it felt like a a nice flowing three hours. You know what I'm saying? This was a really well-paced show. It was controlled chaos. You know what I'm saying? Nick Aldis is so much of a better GM than than Adam Pearce is. Adam Pearce is not a good GM. He is terrible. Nick Aldis be getting the job done. You feel me? But um, yeah, man, SmackDown, another great show. And hopefully... Possibly, maybe Raw can take some notes because they're killing it right now. But um, y'all let me know how you felt about SmackDown tonight. I thought it was a great show. If there's anything I forgot, let me know. I'm pretty sure I covered everything um, that happened tonight. But if there's anything else, let me know in the comments down below. Um, yeah, this, this is a lot of good stuff is happening on, on SmackDown right now. And I need... I think the most dire thing for me is Nia Jax losing that championship. Because I really want Tiffany Stratton to be champion. I do feel like Tiffany Stratton is their move into WrestleMania. Um, If Charlotte comes back, then that's probably going to be the match they do um, with Tiffany versus Charlotte. Even though I'm not too keen on Charlotte getting a title shot, but you know she will. So I'm not even going to act like we're not watching the, the company we always are, you know. But... um. Yeah, man, just an excellent SmackDown tonight. 
Y'all let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you're new, subscribe. If you have not already, comment down below. Kind of what you want me to do next. Stay safe, drink water. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video, man.